Hello, you're probably wondering what I'm doing down here. Well, today we're gonna to be talking about budget beauty swaps and specifically, we'll be talking about rosehip oil. But it's almost time for my afternoon snack, so before we get started, I'm gonna whip something up really quickly to eat. Now, because I'm on a budget, I'm challenging myself to use up what I have in the cupboards instead of going out to get more stuff. And in the back of this cupboard, I have some protein powder that I haven't been using. This one here. Here's a little tip for you. If you have some protein powder that you're not really keen on in smoothies, you should try baking with it because that can be a complete game changer in terms of how you feel about the protein. So before we have our little chat, I'm gonna whip something up really quickly using this protein powder and then we'll talk about rosehip oil. So I'll see you in a minute. sure you stick around until the end of the video I'm gonna pull that out and you can see what I made I totally just freestyled it I threw in whatever I could find in my covers in the hopes of making something that was similar to uh, chocolate banana bread so we'll check that out after we talk about our budget beauty swaps so today we are talking about budget beauty swaps and specifically rosehip oil now I really like rosehip oil because it's sort of a budget beauty swap in itself in that it has a lot of ingredients that are found in higher end products without the higher end price tag. So it's supposed to be chock full of antioxidants and things like vitamin A which are really good for your skin. So that's the reason I got onto rosehip oil in the first place. Now personally I found after using rosehip oil for about a year now that I have noticed a little bit of a difference in my crow's feet. I can't really use it on the rest of my face because I tend to get a lot of blackheads and you know it just seems to clog up my pores even though it's not supposed to do that so I use it around my crow's feet I use it quite liberally on my neck and I also sometimes use it on my elbows so I do actually go through it quite quickly like I can zip through a bottle in about a month's time now I need to be on a budget at the moment because I have a trip coming up to Canada and finances are a bit tight so I didn't want to completely give up my rosehip oil, but I did want to see if I could find something a bit cheaper, which is what I'm going to show you in this video. And the good news as well is that no matter where you're watching this video from, you're going to be able to find these products. So I'll tell you where I found them and where you can find them as we go through them. So let's start with the first one that I was using, and that's this Trilogy Certified Organic Rosehip Oil. Now this is a really popular brand. This is well known internationally but it is actually a New Zealand brand so the cool thing is that this is actually the same price here in New Zealand as it is overseas which doesn't happen a lot when it comes to cosmetics down here uh, so this one retails in New Zealand for anywhere from about $22.50 all the way up to about $28 if you buy it at a department store online I had a look at Amazon today and if you're in the US you can buy this for about $23 off of Amazon. Now Trilogy is a pretty reputable brand because they've actually done a bit of their own research. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it other than I wanted to find something cheaper. Now before I show you what I'm actually going to swap it out for permanently, I wanted to show you one that I actually tried in the interim. Now if you're in New Zealand you're going to be able to find this one. Unfortunately you won't find this if you're somewhere else. This is um, a newer brand that's popped up. It's uh, Sano. Now I'm not a fan of their body lotions. I just don't like the smell of them. But I did try this rosehip oil and I am actually a huge fan of this. So this is rosehip oil with a bit of acai oil in it as well. And I found this one was a little bit lighter than the rosehip oil and it didn't seem to clog my pores as much. So I zipped through a bottle of this which is why I don't have a bottle to show you, I just have the package, but I am a huge fan of this and it is a couple dollars cheaper than the Trilogy. You can find it at places like the warehouse or even supermarkets now. So uh, if you're in New Zealand and you just want an easy option, then give that one a try. 
Now, if you're not in New Zealand or you just want something even cheaper than the Trilogy and the Asano, then you need to check out this one. So the Acure is my budget beauty swap. Now, this is 100% rosehip oil without the same price tag as the Trilogy. And I think this one has something that trumps them all and it's the bottle. Now they all come in glass bottles, but the super cool thing about this one is that it has a pump on it. And the reason that's important, I get a lot of my skincare information off of a website called Paula's Choice. Now on Paula's Choice, they talk about how packaging is really important for skincare products. Because when you expose ingredients to air by opening a jar or as you do with this one opening it up and you know there's just a the eyedropper goes in there's absolutely nothing to stop air going in when you do that every time you open that bottle you're exposing the ingredients to air and air degrades the antioxidants and the vitamins in the product which means that over time the more you open that bottle the less effective your products get and so according to Paula's choice a better option would be to have products in a pump bottle like this brand does here so technically that would mean that this is going to stay fresher for longer than this which I think is really cool the other thing that's pretty neat about this company is that they actually say on their website to store this in the fridge and why is that important again because heat oxidizes oils and so if you're exposing your oils to heat they can go rancid which you know I, I know in terms of eating oil that's not a good thing I'm not 100% sure if it's as terrible when you're putting it on your face but why not keep it fresh why not throw it in the fridge and I thought it was really cool that this brand reminds you to do that now price tag you're probably wondering so the Acure comes in at about $9.99 on Amazon for those of you in in North America and in New Zealand here I ordered this on iHerb for 16 New Zealand dollars so it is very affordable when you consider that this one in a department store can be anywhere up to about $28 and you can get this one for only $16 here in New Zealand. Now, the other thing is that this one, the Acure, is 30 mils and this is 20 mils, which makes this an even more affordable option. So I am super impressed with this brand and that is my budget beauty swap for you. And on that note, before you go, let's go check out my banana bread. That's actually pretty good. I think I'm gonna be able to use up the rest of that protein powder. I actually have a meal plan that doesn't have this exact recipe in it because I just freestyled this one today, but I do have a protein bread similar to this in that meal plan. If you're interested, I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. You can pop over to my website and check that out. Make sure you also subscribe to my channel so you catch upcoming videos from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.